And number two, very, very important, acceptance is communicated to the offeror. Kaya diba, misan, sino nagpupunta sa divisoria dito? Pag nagpunta ka sa divisoria at nagtanong ka ng ano, pagpipilitan sa'yo misan ng mga ano eh, nagtitinda sa palengke. Hindi mo naman po pwedeng sabihin, o oh, sige ho, pagdating ko sa bahay at talimbawa is merong lamog pala yung mangga, ibabalik ko. If there is a condition that is an unqualified acceptance and it cannot give rise to a perfected contract, O di ba, pag bibili ka ng pakwan, ano sasabihin ng, ng, ng tindera? Hindi ho, matamis yan. Paano ko malalamang matamis? Sige, hiwain natin. <laughs> Tikman nyo. Pinagdududuhan. Tikman nyo. Malay ko, kanyo yung pakwan na yan, galing na sa ano, di ba? Yun yung mga, yun yung, kung makikita mo, class, kung ano yung ginagawa nyo everyday, without you knowing it, you are applying the provision of the code. Ito yung offer ng tindera, offer, pero hindi definite kasi hindi kasi sigurado kung matamis yung pakwan. Sa mangga, may nagpapatikim ba ng mangga? Ang sabi ng nanay ko, para daw malaman kung ang mangga ay matamis, ano gagawin mo? Sige nga. Aamuyin mo. Kaya ako, para akong aso. <laughs> sabi ng tindera, ano ba ginagawa niyo? Eh kasi sabi ng nanay ko, amuyin ko daw <laughs> Para malaman kung matamis ang mangga. So that means, if you see, there is one, uh, ang tawag dito, isang piling ng mangga doon o isang ano ng mangga, uh, basket, hindi ibig sabihin, bibili ka kagad. Kailangan, aamuy-amuyin mo pa. <laughs> Kasi hindi definite ang offer. Okay? Kaya kay mga lalaki, dapat mag- Mamili, mamali kayo para ma-apply nyo kung ano yung provision ng batas. <laughs> so, bukas, wala kayong paso, pumunta kayo sa palengke. <laughs> What about the nature and effect of advertisement? Kanina, na-mention ko na siya sa inyo, di ba? Tingnan nyo. Kaya, ngayon, linggo ngayon, anong newspaper ang napakakapal ba <laughs> Manila Bulletin, santambak ng advertisement. But in so far as the civil code is concerned, what is the significance of this advertisement? Definitely, if it involves the sale of a real property or personal property, diba? they cannot be a definite offer, but they are simply an invitation to make an offer. Kung titingnan mo kahit sa ad ngayon, especially sa mga uh, mga equipment, di ba may drawing na, may picture na? But in spite of that, can you still consider it? Will you now consider it as a definite offer? Hindi pa rin. Kasi kailangan i-test mo. Lalo na, di ba yung mga pang gym na ano, makikita mo may meron ng picture pag naka-add ngayon sa ano sa newspaper yung mga treadmill yung mga ano so hindi pa rin as a buyer you are not satisfied yet so there is simply what an an invitation to make an offer now what is a counter offer counter offer is a qualified or conditional acceptance so ito ito yung nakikipagtawaran ka So, punta ka sa palengke, sinabi ng tindera, o eto ho, dahil gusto ko na umuwi, sige, isang kilo ng ano, <laughs> sampung piso na lang. Uy, sa balintawak, klasa, pag ganitong oras, mura yung, yung ano, pero biro, mura ang, ang mga gulay. Na talagang ibibigay na nila sa inyo ng ano, ng tawag dito, bagsak presyo kasi ang, ang ano sa kanila is to go home early. So, pag ganon, pwede ka pa bang mag-counter offer? Di ba nakakahiya ng mag-counter offer? Minsan, yung sayote, bibigyan nila sa'yo ng 10 piso isang kilo. Magka-counter offer ka pa. 5 piso na lang, baka bariling ka. <laughs> so, usually, yung mga counter offer, pag medyo mahal, tsaka mo tatawaran. O kaya, Maglalaro dyan kung wholesale or retail ang bentahan. 
Okay, option money, earnest money, what is the distinction? Similarity definitely both involves the delivery of money. But the distinction is with respect to the effect. If it is an earnest money, that gives rise to a perfected contract of sale. Earnest money forms part of the contract price. An option money does not give rise to a perfected contract of sale, but simply a perfected option contract. And what is that option contract? You are given a period, a reasonable period by the vendor within which to make a final decision as to whether you will push through with the buying of the property or not. So the money or the consideration, which is called option money in an option contract, is a consideration for the waiting time of the seller. Now, how much should be the option money? The code is silent about it. So one peso will be enough. Enough to tie down the seller that within a period of one week or two weeks or even one month as agreed upon by both parties, seller has no right to offer the same product to a third person. But, if there is no option money given, seller has the full discretion of disposing the property to a third person, even without the knowledge of the buyer. Now, class, I don't think that you have already encountered a contract wherein the terms option money or earnest money appear okay usually what is being used by brokers deposit or reservation fee now look at the stipulation regardless of whether it is termed as deposit or reservation fee for as long as that deposit or reservation fee will be included in the computation of the contract price, then that means that is an earnest money. But if it is not included in the computation, it will not be deducted from the contract price. It will be deemed forfeited in case you will not push through with the buying of the property. That is simply an option money. This was asked before in the bar exam. It may be asked again. So option money, what is perfected is the option contract wherein you are buying the period to what? Make a final decision as to whether you will acquire the property or not. Earnest money gives rise to a perfected contract and it forms part of the contract price. Any question? Will you still have a break or we proceed? Who wants a break? <laughs> okay. It is not a unanimous decision. I don't want to prejudice the interests of the minority. <laughs> so you're given a break. It's already, what time is in your watch? 3.30? So you take a break and then we resume our discussion later on.